Henry Ford, a pioneering figure in the automobile industry, made significant attempts to revolutionize air travel by creating affordable, mass-produced aircraft known as Fliver planes. His last endeavor in this area was the Ford 15P, developed in the mid-1930s. The Ford Motor Company had previously ventured into aviation, acquiring the Stout Metal Airplane Company in 1925, which led to the creation of the renowned Ford Tri-Motor Transports. However, the Great Depression shifted Ford's focus back to automobiles, temporarily halting aircraft production. In 1933, the U.S. Department of Commerce challenged the aviation industry to develop an affordable aircraft, reigniting Ford's interest. The Ford 15P was designed by Harry Karcher and Gar Evans, featuring a tailless, flying wing design with a steel tube fuselage covered in aluminum sheeting and fabric-covered wings. The aircraft was powered by a modified Ford flathead V8 engine, producing 115 horsepower. The 15P had unique control surfaces, including drag rudders and elevons, and was supported by standard tail dragger landing gear. The 15P was registered in November 1935 and made several test flights, piloted by Ford Motor Company's head pilot, Harry Russell. However, controlling the aircraft proved challenging and it was eventually damaged in a landing accident. The damaged 15P was stored and never repaired. In 1936, Ford Motor Company ceased aircraft operations, closing the Stout Metal Airplane Division. The remnants of the 15P were later used in an unsuccessful attempt to create an autogyro-type aircraft in 1941, after which all traces of the 15P disappeared. Both Henry Ford and his son Edsel, who had a keen interest in aviation, likely played equal roles in the development of the 15P. Despite their efforts, the Ford 15P, like previous Fliver plane attempts, did not achieve the intended goal of creating an affordable, mass-produced aircraft for the average citizen.